Welcome, 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 welcome to the RIP 28 Podcast. This is the RIP 28 Podcast. It's a podcast where a few friends get together and we talk about a few things. Now, some of those things you might like, some of those things you might not like. But we're going to keep on talking about them on the RIP 28 Podcast. I am your humble host, Slider Sports Guy. I'm joined by a few of my good friends. As always, we start off in the top corner with the president. What's going on, El Presidente? What's going on, fellas? Got a, quite a few guys on the, from the crew on here today. Let's, let's see what we're going to talk about. See Nez in the building. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're getting everybody back. Speaking of coming back, we got the one and only. What's going on, Coach Bill? Hey, man, I'm chilling, man. Glad to be back. You know, I make my special appearances every now and then with my boys on RIP 28. Glad to be back in the saddle, though. Hey, that boy fresh off them slopes. Been out there <laughs> skiing. I see him. I see him. So, so is shit too. I see. <laughs> on, the, on the other side, on the other side, we got your favorite coach, favorite coach. What's going on, LBZ? What it do, man? It's BZ the GOAT, aka your favorite coach, favorite coach, man. Just here. Glad to see Anton back on the show, man. My dog, 98, making it great. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> on the other side, you can't see him, but he's down there. He's down there. <laughs> Is our man. What's going on, Doc? Hey, what's good? What's good, fellas? Glad to be in the house one more game. I'm just here, just chilling. We got the doctor back chilling with us, chilling with us, man. It's the RIP 28 podcast, man. Here's the thing about the RIP 28 podcast, man. We are glad that you guys stepped in. We're glad that you wanted to show up and check us out. But you can check us out a lot of different places, man. We are where we at, Chance. Where, where all the places we at, man. Mm. Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Apple, Spotify, Google, uh, Pod Bay, whatever you want. And just we say all of it. Just we say all of it. Everything. We all of Everything. Everything. But here go the thing, man. Because you're watching, because you're listening, however you choose to take us in, man, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the follow button, man. We need to get these subscribers and these followers up, man. We got to get these numbers up, man, so we get some money off this thing, man. You know, we need y'all to go ahead and, and like, subscribe, and follow the RIP28 podcast, man. Please do. Please do. Check it out, man. Like I say, man, we like to talk about a lot of things, man. I think this week, man, we, we going to take it. We're going to take it to the sports this week, man. We all, you, you know, we all uh -oh. athletes, but we don't usually uh -oh. talk about a lot of sports on here, man. A lot of shit going on, man. First off, big news, big news, just breaking is Calvin Ridley. Now, Calvin Ridley, for those who don't know, he's the first-round draft pick of the Atlanta Falcons two years ago. Had a decent rookie year, you know what I'm saying? He was impressive as a rookie. And uh, last year, he played, I think, about three or four games. I'm not sure how many he played. But he sat out most of last year because he said he had some uh, some mental health issues. And that was the first time, you know, I think I ever heard a, a player just sitting out the whole year. But homeboy sat out the whole year for mental health reasons. You know, we want to wish him well. We don't want anybody to be crazy. But... We just found out today that homeboy was uh was gambling. They say he did an 18 parlay. I don't know if you know anything about betting, but when you do a parlay, that's when you bet a couple of different teams or a couple of different outcomes, and you kind of you gotta win all eight of them, or all three of them, or however many the parlay is, for you to make the uh for you to make the money. And they say he made a fifteen thousand, a fifteen hundred dollar bet. That's gonna end up costing him eleven million. The dude is uh, suspended for the whole year. Now, how y'all feel about old boy, man? man eighteen hundred, like eighteen dollars to him, <laughs> <laughs> and, and now he got to pay eleven million back. That's crazy. Yep, hey, that's but sound like his mental health problems was a uh, gambling problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or he that eleven well, he, million that was his salary for the year. Or, mm -hmm. or he knew this was coming down the pipeline sooner or later. He was trying to get out ahead of it. And well, I, I ain't saying he, I ain't saying he used his mental health issues as an excuse, but I am trying to say that it is possible that that was his mental health issue that 
I'm gonna eventually have to pay this money back, and I don't know how the hell I'm gonna get this money. <laughs> hey, and who, <laughs> who hey, and who he had to pay that money back to? She might have some hitters after. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, yeah, he do the you NFL, I mean? the yeah. NFL. Nah, nah, they're the biggest challenge. hitters. Nah, so, yeah, so, the biggest hitters. They ain't gonna kill you. They ain't gonna so, spin you. So, so my, they, 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 did he win the bet? Nah, I think he lost. I think that's, that's even more messed up. You lose the bet and then you lose money after that. Yeah. <laughs> so they end up catching them because he, he didn't use his name. I guess they tracked down his cell phone. They they linked it back to his uh, cell phone account because he made the bet out of state. He placed the bet in Vegas or something like that. And it was, you know, placed on his cell phone. So that's how they tracked them down. You know, he ain't even go to what, what's the what's the website thing? Uh, draft King, yeah, King, no shit like that. Yeah, man. He placed it. He placed it on. He had a, like, he had a bookie. He had him a bookie. Yeah, I yeah. guess that yeah, had a bookie. But, yeah, but, but, but what led him to just track his cell phone down though? He had to do something for them to want the cell phone. Well, this this is just a guess. Now, this just this ain't nothing but Rip Twenty Eight logic right here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> give, it, give, it to him, give it to him. Give it to him, Slack. But I think whenever you make a bet in Vegas, they track. They track. They keep a track of who made the bet. You know what I'm saying? Whenever you make a bet in Vegas, I think they, especially if you do something over a cell phone that's in a state, because after the Vegas stays in Vegas. Yeah, because technically, if you it's supposed to be that ain't true no more. If you walk up to the counter and place a bet, you don't have to show your ID. Um, mm. You don't have to show your ID because you know I made bets. On, I make a bet on the Redskins every year. The who? To win the Super Bowl. What the command? The commander. Oh my bad. I'm sorry. The <laughs> the oh, I thought that's team. the worst team. That's the worst name you could ever chose. I thought you oh. were talking about um, Lionel Rich in there. <laughs> the Commodores. <laughs> now it would be cool if their mascot was Cobra Commander. It was Cobra Commander in the maroon and gold. Ah, uh, you can't make it cool, dude. Ain't no way to make it cool. <laughs> uh, no, you, you trying to you trying to uh, pump yourself up like it, it, it's all right, I guess. Hey, that's worse than Captain Capital. Hey, oh, their whole team. <laughs> okay. Hey, listen, everybody will be Captain hey, Crunch. Their whole team about to be on mental um mental health. <laughs> I, I didn't believe that shit when I saw that shit. The Washington. <laughs> All on. We're we going to be on mental health. We, we really. Mm. Yeah, I'll see it. Or, or Ben Simmons. Say Ben Simmons. Ben Simmons. <laughs> hey, but, but what y'all talking about the mental health, though? But the one thing brought to my attention that I just thought about when we was talking about this, man, you can't get away with nothing. This man probably took a whole bunch of precautions to make that bet and not get caught. But it's no way to get away from nothing these days, man. You got the, the internet, you got Facebook, you got track my phone, and it's on the side. <laughs> they know you at all the time. There's no way to get away from nothing no more. You gotta get a flip phone. <laughs> man, you gotta get that cricket. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> hey, they can track don't know that is no more, dog. You know? <laughs> The days, the days of your granddaddy having the whole family on the, on the other side of town, that shit's gone. Gone, boy. They not try it. Hey, find boy, out, they shut them down. The hey, they shut them down, <laughs> they don't have no more, bro. No, they ain't having <laughs> hey, no more. They ain't going to find out the funeral, but it's probably going to be a funeral. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I got a question. I got a question. Um, So the rules for the NFL – like, is there a minimum bet that you can place? Because I'm thinking, like, $1,500 no. is really a lot of money, right? You so, can't bet like, on that at all. You cannot get you can't bet on the game. So if, if I bet a dollar, player, if I bet $1, I'm not winning any money, so why does it even matter? You can't, you can't even say, I'm going to bet you, I'm going to bet you dinner after the game. You can't you, you see. with that. You said Juwan is just a high school player. He, he don't know nothing about that college. <laughs> hey, we got to look, explain look. to him that you know any bet you know because you can you can uh blow the game on purpose. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. well, no, I'm, I'm saying no. But it has to be some amount of money that would cause it to make sense, right? So if I bet a dollar, 
well, I'm gonna blow the game because I bet a dollar and I might come out with thirty times thirty dollars. He got a thing. He got a thing about the NFL and all sporting, you know, all sporting leagues and why they have to be so harsh on betting. You have to totally let a person know that we will not tolerate gambling on our on our sport at any level on anything because like. If you go and make the bet and say, okay, well, I'm going to allow you to make a $50 bet on that. The $50 ain't nothing. So I'm not going to punish you. Well, here's the thing. If I'm somebody from Vegas and and I see Chance making a $50 bet on his team, uh, for his team to lose, I'm going to go and make a $100,000 bet because I haven't seen Chance make a $50 bet for his team to lose. Hey, mm -hmm. I think, hey, but I think the thing is, you can't bet on your team. I think no, you, you still can, bet. You can't bet at all. I think you still, think you still can bet, man. I, I, I think you can't bet. We don't have to I think, Google still, that. I think you still can bet, but you can't bet on your team. Google, boy. We don't have, we don't have to get Google on that one because I don't. I don't think you can bet at all. Because if you bet, you bet on your own team. You're 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 dictating the outcome of your team. You can make the bet go whatever way you want. You, you bet on the right team. NFL players are not permitted to bet on NFL games, whether they are playing in them NFL or not. NFL games. It just, they say it's just an NFL game. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's, what he, yeah that's what we talk about, NFL. He, yeah, but that's what he was betting on, though. Oh, okay. He was so, betting on NFL games. You, but y'all say they can't bet on nothing. No, that's no, what I'm talking, talking about. Uh, NFL. Okay, okay, NFL. Okay, so they can bet, like, college basketball, they can March Madness. Yeah, and, yeah, that's, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. I, I, I wonder, like, man, grant the man some grace. Like, he could have been right. having a good time in Vegas. Also, he made a bet. He probably didn't realize he was betting on the NFL at the time. Uh, maybe. I don't know. Maybe. But it's only $1,500. Consider how much the dude makes. Like, uh, give right. him a slap on the wrist, find him. Right. Don't suspend this, the man. This is what I just found out. Bet, betting is not illegal, but fixing the games is illegal. So yeah. how can you prove that you bet on the game? But you ain't trying to fix it. Well, here's the thing. He got the rule. He got the, the NFL rule right here. According to Google, all and like LeBron said, all NFL personnel are prohibited from placing, soliciting, or fa facilitating any bet, whether directly or through a third party, on any NFL game, practice, or other event. Yeah, just, they just can't bet on NFL stuff. Yeah, they just yeah. can't bet on NFL stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's the league gambling policy. Because I knew good and well. I know some players. I saw betting. Yeah, but they, they were betting were. On, on NFL games. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and see, see, here go the thing, man. Is and, and a lot of times, it's not necessarily – and I'm going to tell you who enforces this rule more than the NFL. Las Vegas enforces the rule. The NFL, you know, they want to look out for it. But Las Vegas are the ones who really enforce it. Because let's take basketball. Y'all remember the movie Blue Chips? Not, not Tony. That was my guy. He was my guy. You remember when Tony threw the game? See, with basketball, and, you know, it was funny. Blue Chips came on last weekend, or this weekend. We just, I was just watching it. And I just told my girl about this. The reason it come down with basketball, they have the, they have the spreads. And let's just say, let's say Chance, well, nah, we ain't gonna say Chance. Chance can't play. Let's say Ton. Hey! Ton <laughs> averaged 20, 25 a game, right? And, and, and Ton team was playing another team. That's close, though. But Ton, but Ton team was supposed to win. They was favored to win by 10 points, right? They was favored to win by 10 points. Well, uh, 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 and, and let's say what happened. Instead of Tom putting in his 25, I'm a big time gangster and I go and tell Tom, hey man, I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you two thousand dollars. And instead of you averaging 25, I want you to get 18 in this game. And I know y'all gonna beat this squad, mm -hmm. but I want to make sure that you do whatever it takes that y'all only beat them by six or oh, y'all only beat them by eight. Yeah, the over under. The over under, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You, you know what I'm saying? Make sure that spread. Make sure you don't, you know, y'all don't beat the spread. Y'all can win the game, but don't beat the spread. And now, when that happens, that's what the – now, if I make sure Todd ain't going to beat the spread, that means I'm going to go to Vegas and I'm going to place 
a hundred thousand dollar bet. Let's say Todd, that the odds were ten to one odds right. that, that they would win. I place a hundred thousand dollar bet. I don't want a million dollars. You see what I'm saying? So that's why Vegas cares more about gambling than uh, than the actual league does. And, and it's more about if you say yeah, and then it don't happen, then somebody come to clap you. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, that's what really happened. Really yeah. Happen. yeah. <laughs> you don't, you don't want them problems, man, at all. So it's better just to stay in your lane, stay away from no gambling stuff, man. Yeah, man. Ga gambling is, uh, you know, it's it, it, it's a crazy thing, man. And, and and you know, you don't have those scandals. I, I remember it was a scandal. Arizona State. Yeah, Arizona State had something. Teddy Dupay back, back to the, Florida. Teddy huh? Dupay. Teddy yeah, Dupay. Dupay. Teddy Dupay. It was some in the Northeast, too. I can't remember. Teddy Dupay was gambling on games? Yeah. Okay, okay. I didn't know that. Hey, and, and, and what's the referee? Referee gambling too. Yep. The, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Hey, now they, they can gamble like for real. But see, but see, all, <laughs> of, these, all of these people, all of these people was caught by security in Vegas. They weren't caught by the elite. They weren't caught by the elite. Because like what happens when you see the action, we call you know, you call gambling, you call that action. If you see, you know, everybody gonna bet on Florida State playing Florida. Everybody going to bet on Michigan playing Ohio State. That's going to be a lot of bet. But what happens, like let's say on a random Tuesday night, Vegas see a whole bunch of people betting big money on Marquette playing DuPont. Kent State. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That raised a whole bunch of red flags. And now what happens now Motherfucking the security from Vegas, they're gonna go and check everybody on Marquette and Kent State. Mm -hmm. They're gonna go and check all that shit. And see, because they're private, they don't have to go by the same laws that the government do when it comes to wiretapping your phone, becoming getting your phone records and stuff like that. They just go to the back door, ATT, and say, because all these security people know each other. You know what I'm saying? The security from ATT. We know the security from Vegas. You know what I'm saying? See, we ain't talking about the niggas standing at the door with a bracket <laughs> on to say security. We talking about them high ups. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, and ask them, you know, hey, let me get let me get such and such phone records. Yeah. I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you a thousand dollars to get these phone records. And it happened. And they get them phone records. Because they don't have to go through the same, I need a warrant the way the way the cops do. You're right. So yeah, right. man. man. And, and, and you know what, man? It, you know, you want to feel better about when you're watching a game to know that that game ain't real, man. You want, yeah, I want, to, I want to know everybody going all the way. Well, hey, I think the refs in South Carolina, I think somebody got their pocket. Well, <laughs> well it, it's bad officiating all the way around, man. Yeah, I know. Hey, you know, I, I'm, just, I'm, I'm really being funny about that because I, I know what the refs go through, bro. It's just a shortage. It's a shortage on officials in yeah. high school sports, man. Yeah, yeah. They, and the, and the people they get abused. The people who complain they can't do it. Yeah, you gotta really, you gotta really love it because you know they're gonna get on your head every bad call. Boy, they get abused. Call. They get abused, man. Like them referees get abused, man. I know it's it's some stuff I didn't heard said, dog. Get crossed the line. But but it's some referees out there too, like just like them scared um, cops. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They pull that chip. They, they pull the chip on the neck quicker. <laughs> yeah. 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 They try to use their authority like, all right, now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, anyway. But I think, I think a lot of the problems with the officials, man, is, is the way they, where they train them, where they're getting kids. Because a lot of these refs, to be honest, a lot of basketball, football, man, these refs too old. They out there, yep. old. They can barely keep up with the kids. And I don't yep. think they recruit like in college. In college, when you play intramurals, it's always, you know, it's a college kid refing yep. at intramural. I think what these referee associations need to do, they need go to go to them colleges. Yeah, recruit younger. Get these kids who call it, who refereeing games in intramurals, you get them and let them start refing middle school games. Let them ref B team games. You know what I'm saying? Let them get used to. You know, and, and, and they're getting paid. They get paid real money. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. you got your farm system now. You got your young farm system. 
that's a good idea, but I think most of them kids in college because they're going to do something else. I go be a referee. You, yeah, you can be a referee and just do your, your, your career. But every every ref, every, <laughs> every ref you see out there on the court got a full time job. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they they come straight from work most time. Hey, till they make it to the college level, and they still might still work. Uh huh. You got to be you got to be Big Ten. You know what I'm yeah. saying? SEC refs. Yeah. For that shit to be full time. And you know they, they don't pay for their travel either. They got to drive to them games half the time. Well, well, the way well for high school, the way it's work, you're you're set yeah. in a in a region. You got. I ain't talking about. I'm talking about pros and college. Well, shit, pros them over pro, pro, pro professional refs make uh, over two hundred thousand a year. They better Google that shit for us. But they drive. They but they drive to the game next up. Hey, they probably enjoy driving to them. Mm. <laughs> they making the money. Let me see that for you know how much do NFL officials make a year? It's like this makes You know, I'm giving you, I'm giving you the rip twenty eight facts. We <laughs> give you the real. Don't, don't make as much as Juwan. Yeah, I don't make no money. Oh, the government. They make an average of two hundred and five thousand a year. NFL real. Yeah. And that's in 2019. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hey, for twenty five thousand a year, I can buy a plane ticket. <laughs> exactly. Hey, my um, my air miles gonna be up. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I, I, I bet basketball don't make that much. Hey, hey, hey! I bet you talking about your um, you talking about your flyer miles? I bet you won't give Brittany Griner none of your flyer miles. Ooh, she need them, bro. She need no. She need she need more than uh fly your mouse. She need hey. lawyer mouse. Yeah, she, she need that need. lawyer to come over there. Nah. Hey. What y'all think about that, Speaking man? Of Brittany Griner, Speaking let's of bring it down for the people out there, man. Uh, Brittany Griner, uh, plays. She plays basketball in Russia in the off season. Brittany plays basketball in Russia in the off season. She's WNBA player. Played for Baylor in college. She used to dunk in Baylor, and now she plays for um. Phoenix. She plays for Phoenix for the WNBA. But like most WNBA players, Brittany Griner in the offseason, she'll go and play overseas in Europe some way and make a lot of money. Well, the uh, the U.S. ambassador or what ambassador in in, um, in Russia, they told Embassy. all American citizens that y'all need to uh, come home. She said, she said everybody from America need to come home and get out of Russia. So Brittany decided, you know, hey, I'm gonna leave. But she had some vape, what are the vape pens? What do you call them? Yeah, vape pens? Yeah, vape, vape cartridges. Vape yeah. cartridges. Vape cartridges or whatever. And, Do and, stuff. and marijuana is illegal in Russia. So they uh they arrested her at the airport and she uh chilling in Russia. Hey. hey, Brittany Griner gonna give us in World War Three. Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> you think you think we gonna go? You think the, the white boy gonna go to war over Brittany Griner? Hell nah. <laughs> hey, they gonna be doing the Muhammad Ali then. <laughs> <laughs> she gonna be the rallying cry. You see, your boy uh, Lindsey Graham just said he wanna. He calling for assassination. He say somebody yeah. in Russia need to step up and kill old boy. Yeah, they're asking for a lot. You ask them to get somebody taken from their family too. Because yeah. you know it <laughs> you ain't just getting close to that man like that. Come on now. Don't mm-hmm. don't 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 make don't make somebody get hurt. Right. Yeah. It takes some serious balls to do that too. Yeah, for no real. repercussions. Oh yeah. But, hey Brittany, she hemmed up though, man. To tell you the truth. And she was just she was going back over there, right? No, she was coming yeah, she trying was, to get them over there. Now. Yeah. Okay. Why 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 it took so, took us so long to get up out of there? Well, well, man, she, she was uh, over she was over there and their their season, they, they go on a month long man, break. That season, man. You see they they, been, back. they been told them people to get from over there. That's what I'm talking about. Why she ain't get her ass on? Ben said get from over there. <laughs> why she ain't leave then? But she see, the problem ain't her leaving. She had a fight. 
the hey. problem was that we she had had a problem. <laughs> hey. Yeah, that was the problem. I, I bet that they would have been checking like I bet they wouldn't have been checking like that. She got there early. They in the middle of the oh, yeah. Hey, hey, time, time, you, you be all like that. Hey, listen, you don't think she done came then back and forth and back and forth and she never had no goddamn weed on her? Probably so. Exactly. But, but so, you got you got in the middle of a war trying to leave <laughs> Russia. They go to America. Oh, they checking everything. She got it that early. But but my exactly. thing is though, man, you know, I, I want to feel sorry for her. it is fucked up, but mm -hmm. sometimes you just gotta be smarter than that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You, you gotta be quicker than that. You know, you yeah, know, you know. It. you know it's bad will, ill will toward America and you an American citizen. If I'm the, matter of fact, I would have left everything I owned over there in Russia. I would have just went with just the clothes on my back and my iPad. <laughs> you know what I'm why, yeah, I agree. Why she even taking the weed? Like, leave the weed. You know it's illegal. Like, why even risk it? You know? That don't make sense. Dum, 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 dum. He got, he got a bigger problem, though. A lot of people, and especially young people, well, she's a little bit too old to be considered a young person like that. Yeah, she's 30 something years old. But but a lot of these young kids, they don't believe that these vape pens are actually weed. <laughs> you, you see what I'm saying? They think, well, no, it's an e-cigarette. It ain't it ain't weed, you know. When they when they get, you know, prosecuted or arrested. Yeah, yeah. So so they don't see it as the same as weed. But you know, these mother, they still take you to jail over that vape pen the same way. They'll take you to jail over anything else, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You better speak to him, Sly. Yeah, I, I just think I'm, I'm with y'all. You gotta be. You gotta be a, a lot more cautious when you know stuff is going on like that. Don't put yourself at risk. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. But I still think shit got there a little earlier, though. But I you, agree with that. You, you can tell Anton uh, be doing that sports gambling right there. You like. If you go a little bit earlier, you, you'd be straight. <laughs> <laughs> I say don't bring it at all. <laughs> yeah, she should, hey, she shouldn't even been over. Like, they know when they start lining up them trucks to go down to the border of uh, Ukraine, man, she should, hey, it's time to get about here. She was trying to get all that extra money. God, fuck that money. She got to go. I know. Now, now she's stuck. About to put it's, it's, World War it's easy to say that, you know, secondhand, like uh, Sunday Monday morning quarterback and all that stuff, but you know, when you in it, you don't think like that. You're right. We can say that because we see what happened. You're right. Hindsight, yeah. But but my thing is though, you talk about hindsight, Monday morning quarterback, and you just gotta be man. Who the who back there talking? Seven, about? Nine, three, press one. Who checking the messages? Enter the message. Hmm? Not me. Y'all don't hear that something in the background? Come on, hear that. I hear it. Juwan, check press pause. <laughs> that's not. That's not me. You the only one would be doing that. I mean, come that on, That is Juwan. not me. That's not uh, me. Okay, move move on, Sly. Go hey, Todd, it was Anton. Hey, that's <laughs> nah, me. I ain't got nothing over here. Oh man, one of you. Whatever. But anyway, anyway, um. You it, once you reach a certain age, man, I expect people to be a lot more mature than than the way they put up, man. And, and you got to be just a little bit more smarter. And 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 I, I'm a big Britney Griner fan, man. I, I I'm a big fan of Britney Griner and the way in the final in the semifinals last year, the way she dogged uh, what's the big girl from Australia, uh, yeah. Cambridge. And, yeah, and she, you know, she, 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 uh, kind of led the charge to beat my aces. Yeah, she, she was pretty good. You yeah. know, but but my thing is though, I just expect her to be smarter, man. And when you're doing dirt, and you know, people don't consider marijuana dirt, but it's it's still illegal. Yeah, marijuana still illegal, man. You know, get rid of that shit, man. It's like certain countries, man. Like if she would have tried that shit in Dubai. Hey, she got she could have got put in jail for 20 years for a job. <laughs> yeah, they talking about they talking about, they talking about 10 years, you know, she facing 10 years, and and that's just for a, a, a bait cart, a cartridge, or a couple. Imagine if you go over there with the real thing, boy. You right. just gotta be smarter, man. And slide just to let you know, you any any team or person 
you a fan of, you're a big fan of them. You can't help but be a big fan. That's just that just comes with it. But now on a serious note, man, I'm with you, Sly. And I very rarely agree with you, Sly, but I'm with you. You gotta be smarter. Once you with with, with when you become a certain age, you gotta put away that stuff, man. You gotta be smart. And then she's at a certain status that you know they're looking for certain things like that. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Anything, you know. To take you off, quote unquote, that pedestal, they look for that. You just got to be smart and, and learn from the examples before you. Exactly. She ain't take nothing. She ain't take nothing from all those people that caught, got caught with weed and guns in these airports. You just right. keep doing it, thinking I'm immune to it. I'm bigger than I'm bigger than. The law. Mm. So I don't know. Nah, man. And here go the thing, man. You you American. <laughs> you black and you a woman. You know what I'm saying? Ain't tall. Ain't you seven foot. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You, you, you got all these strikes against you, man. And you and you are your lifestyle is alternative. Yeah, and, and, and there you go. And you gay too, you know. That's, yeah, that's a tough one, man. They said uh Britney Gr- I was reading an article. They said Britney Griner represents everything that Putin Putin or Putin can't stand. <laughs> hey, so, I'm being serious. Yeah, for real. You're right. Uh, that's, that's messed up, man. You're right, though. That's, yeah. The serious question is, I guess, to end this topic is, are y'all, um, do y'all feel sorry for it? I do have some, I, I do have some uh, sympathy. sympathy for it. Yeah, I, I, I can't have empathy because I can't see me putting myself in in that yeah. place, man, knowing what's going on, dog, I hope I would be smarter than that. Like I said, at a certain age. Right. But not yeah. that we don't all still make, not that we still don't make mistakes now, but that's a big mistake. That's that's your career, your life. You put, I'm sure she, ain't she married or something? Yeah. You know, she ain't yeah, got so that, that, uh, domestic violence charge and shit, too. Yeah, I yeah, remember that. <laughs> Glory, Glory, the girl from Tennessee, Gloria Johnson. But man, that's that. just crazy, man. I feel the same way like you, Bron. You know, I got sympathy for her that she over there. You know, I right. wouldn't want to be there. You know, I feel, I feel sorry for her. But same thing you say, you gotta be smarter. You gotta be smarter to get out of there. You know, just leave everything in, <laughs> in your room, like you say, Sly. Leave everything. Let's go. Yeah. Take my, phone. Take my phone and get out of there. You guys. I guess the messed up thing to me is that, you know, they saying, why do uh, WNBA players have to go over there? Yeah, that's a whole other money. money. You going but, <laughs> but you know, I, I I will say this: you you make money compared to how much money you make. You know, what I'm saying they don't make that money much money in the league. So how they gonna pay them the same that they pay the NBA players? It right. it just ain't. Yeah, I mean, it, it ain't nobody's fault that as much people don't watch it as the guys. But I mean, it is what it is. Yeah, so it is what it is. They can't pay you what they ain't got. Yeah, and, and that's that's my that's the issue, man. The first thing is, you know, all us, all us big time women's basketball fans, because yeah. you know, LeBron, the head coach of a women's team, Chance got a daughter to play, Ty got a daughter. You know what I'm saying? I call a bunch of women's games. We all women. Hey, and we came from Columbia High. And yeah, and we yeah. all came from Columbia High. Yes, and Jawan and Jawan played women's basketball. <laughs> but we all said we're all there supporting Jawan. I'll, I'll wait for the joke to call. <laughs> <laughs> my yeah. Jawana, jo, Jawana man, my bad. <laughs> uh, he was, he was, he, he did average about six months a game with the girls. <laughs> yeah, yeah. After treating, after treating them, did all the work. They put Jawan in. <laughs> 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 all right, go ahead, go ahead, Sly. But we all, we all, I would be a bitch. But no, all y'all, ain't no way y'all can cut my butt on the court. Hey, Sly, <laughs> what you, what you were saying about all the <laughs> hey, trees, trees to block you, dude. <laughs> what, what I was saying, man, all us being women's basketball fans, we all appreciate the game. But oh, yeah. sometimes you just have to be a realist. You know, a lot of women get upset and say, well, how come the WNBA don't make as much money as the NBA? And, you know, it's, it's, you just get, sometimes I laugh. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, so every time I hear a woman shout out, well, the WNBA should make just as much money, I always ask them, I say, how many women's basketball games you been to? 
<laughs> Every woman who say that, none of them been to a game. Yeah. You know, none of them been to a game. You have to support that league, man. It's like I go, I go to, I, I watch Atlanta Dream. You know, I go to, I go to, you know, at least two or three Atlanta Dream games every year. You know, but you, you got to support. If you don't support, you don't support. Matter of fact, I'm going to the uh, Women's Final Four in uh, Minneapolis. Uh, hey, hey, I'm, I'm going to give a shout out real quick to um, James Rice, head coach Benedict College Basketball, Lady Tigers. Yeah, they won the basketball, right? Eh? Yeah, SIAC yeah. championship champ. Hey, he don't they, get they number six. Yeah. Yeah, they won, they won the um, champ, won championship. Yeah. He don't get enough respect though, in the city, man. That dude, been, he been winning with them girls for, he, a for a long time. For real. But anyway. Yeah. So while, while, we we giving, while we giving shout outs, I want to give a shout out to my niece, Courtney Nesbitt, man. It was a pleasure watching her play. Um, it's, it's pretty apparent that she gets the talent from her mother because <laughs> her dad ain't never scored like that. Um, he played on the girls' team too, um, him and his twin sister. I used to lock him up in, in, back in high school. <laughs> yeah. So you getting time. Shout out to Courtney. Courtney had 23 and 6. Um, 25. 25. 23. She had 25. 23. I was hey. at the game. She had 25. But anyway. I tried to shout out to Courtney. Yeah, I ain't giving I ain't giving her no two points. She better earn them. She earned every <laughs> one of them. I watched it. She better earn it. But yeah, man. Uh in the final four, they lost. Uh you know, I hate to say it, lack of coaching maybe might be a reason why they cut. Get, get number 34 out of the game. Uh -huh. had no business making decisions down the stretch. I won't call her name. Bro. <laughs> she, she ain't right. I, 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 never, I never said what school she went to. I never called her out. She in a whole different state. But I'm just saying, <laughs> so I said lack of coaching, and I'm just thinking – Rotations. I seen somebody on that bench that I knew would would have could have done a better job. That's all I'm saying. That and that was my first game. And you agreed with me, and so did the family. <laughs> next to you. So it ain't like I'm just saying this to be mean to the young lady. Man, all I got to say is y'all got me messed up. <laughs> hey, I, I I was a team player, bro. That's why I didn't scope. That's why I didn't scope 30 that game. Man, chance, I was capable, chance, man. Chance. I was on stumble. I just hey. wanted, to, I just wanted to get you some shine. And now you want to hate. Man. Now I know I should have been the ball hog and not passed you around. <laughs> ain't nobody came to see you, Otis. <laughs> <laughs> I should have not passed you the rock, man. I, hey, we, 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 talking about, we talking about your daughter, man. You're living through your daughter, man. Hush. <laughs> she the star right now. Just us. Shout out, Courtney. Hey, we proud of you. And yeah, we love yeah. women's. We love women's basketball and the great things of that women are doing in this women's um women's month. And we want to empower the women and you know tell you how great you are. But it's just a tough sell saying that you should make thirty million dollars a year like some of these NBA players when it's just the revenue is not there. But we do appreciate the game. Because we we do enjoy watching y'all and y'all do a great job, but yeah, it's just they tough. Ball, they ball. Oh yeah, they ball now. We got some ballers. They ball. And it, it's nah. just, but it's just tough. Just tough. You know. I'm about, to, I'm about, to, say I'm about to say something nobody like, but I think this. That's would, all the time. This would I think this would make the women's game so much more exciting if they lowered the goal one foot. And they could play them. I heard that. If they played on nine foot rims and then the women could dunk, I think the women's game would be so much more exciting. They already play with a smaller ball. Yep, they already play with a smaller ball. You know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah. I just I think I think logistically, I think logistically it's a um, it's a hard, it's a hard sell. It's a hard sell. I mean, it's a hard thing to do like with high school, you know, how you gonna have an adjustable rim in high school, you know, not all gyms. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Would be capable of had that adjustable rim, adjustable height in high school. So yeah. I, I think that would be the hard sell. But I, but I, I would. That, that's like um, South Carolina trying to get the shot clock. Everybody can't ain't gonna have enough people to officiate it. You know. Yeah, well, we are gonna start it in Georgia uh, next year. It's gonna be official the whole season. I heard. I, vo I, heard. I voted no. I voted no. Why? Why? 
I have a hard time getting a shot without a. Hey B, hey B, I be, be shooting that mother from uh, from behind half court every time. Just shoot it, baby. Don't worry about it. Just shoot it. We gonna hey. we gonna play defense all night. Let me tell you something, boy. It's bad when you got to tell the team to shoot so they don't turn the ball over. Hey. I, I, I and I love my girls. Shout out to every one of my girls that watch the the podcast. I love y'all. I'm not <laughs> saying this to be mean, but dog, I used to tell them if we get down to seven seconds and we ain't got the ball across half court, just take it and throw it as far as you can. We'll set up and play defense. Take our chances. Right. If we just keep dribbling this ball up and they keep filling it, and, keep, <laughs> and I love y'all. I, but I got to be honest. And I have to tell them, don't worry about the turnover. The the, the dead ball turnover. It's the live ball turnover that keeps killing us, y'all. Throw it out of bounds. Yeah, yeah, I can yeah. set up a defense. Let's That's get smart. back in 3 2. And, 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 yeah, just throw it away. Throw it away. Don't even look at the bench. When you th- when you turn it over, don't look at the bench. Just sit up. Because I already know you. Hey, I already know you turned it over. I don't need your. I don't need that. I know it's your bad. Like Coach Chip say, my bad. My bad. I know. Yeah, I, I yeah, heard man. a couple of them talking. They were like, "We had a better coach. We'd be straight." <laughs> hey, that could be true. Good luck finding one that want to come in. <laughs> <laughs> check this, check this, man. Before we get too deep into this, man, let's take a quick commercial break. We're gonna take a quick commercial break here on the Rip Twenty Eight Podcast. <laughs> Hey, I'm Jay Little, the owner of Ford Counseling and Consulting. We're a consulting and coaching firm who believes in the TLC method, truth, love, and community. Whether coaching corporate clients, individual clients, or engaging individual counseling and group counseling, we believe that you can be more than what you are today by finding your truth, love, and community. You can reach us at www.fordcc.net or give us a call at 803 803- Four five seven five four one three. I'm. Just- welcome back, welcome back to the Rip Twenty Eight Podcast. This is a podcast where a few friends get together and we talk about a few things. Now, some of those things you might like, some of those things you might not like, but we keep on talking about them on the Rip Twenty Eight Podcast. Man, we got some interesting things going on. Man, uh, you know, we talked a little bit about sports. A little bit earlier, but one thing we do on the Rip Twenty Eight podcast, man, we like to answer questions from our fan base. Man, we get a lot of folk calling up, you know, wanting to know um, certain things, wanting to know stuff. And hey, man, that's what we're here for. We want to break stuff down and let people know. So we got a uh, a listener letter. I didn't have enough time to crop this out, so I'm just going to read it. I'm going to read it because I don't want to put his name. In the uh, in the thing, please he don't. Full, he got his full name and his email. Oh yeah, and let, let everybody know you want to get in touch with us, man. You hit us in our DM, uh, the Rip Twenty Eight Podcast, Rip Twenty Eight Podcast on Instagram, or you can hit us on our um, Gmail. It's Rip Twenty Eight Podcast at Gmail. Rip Twenty Eight Podcast at Gmail. You can hit us any of those places. Hit us on our on our Twitter, our Twitter DM. Uh, RIP28 Podcast. Here we go. What up, RIP28? I have a question and need your help. I've been with my lady for four years. We recently broke up and have been apart for four, for about four months. She wants to get back with me and restart our relationship. But the problem is she hooked up with someone and she's pregnant. We're not sure who the daddy is. I think it probably is in mine. We only had sex once since the breakup. I am lost. I don't know what to do. Should I get should I get back with her or should I keep it moving? What should I do, Rip? Anybody? 
Everybody, I got some thoughts on this, man. Y'all, y'all got some thoughts, man. What what should he do? Hello? Show the dude. Keep it moving. Shut the thing is, how, how they been broke up and she don't even know who the daddy is. <laughs> she don't know who the daddy is in that little short amount of time. That, that's what I'm talking about. You got to get on, get on through. So apparently, you know, they done been separated for four months. And she done let some dude come in and hit it raw <laughs> within the four months. Now, to me, it sounded like she didn't know if he was the daddy either. Well, I, I, she I don't. think it's between them two. It's uh, the between the two dudes. I, it sounded like to me like it was multiple people yeah, in between that. Hey, hey, yeah. hey, keep it moving. And if it is mine, I get them on the weekends. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, I'm going to tell you like this. <laughs> hey. I, I'm, I'm, uh, I don't know, man. If, if a woman break up with a man and immediately she's with somebody else, dog. Right. No, she for the streets, bro. She belong to the streets. She, she belong to the streets. I mean, yeah. that's something that you need to hit once every now and again and keep it pushing. On pickup days. I'm, I'm going to tell you, I didn't been in a situation like that, dog, on some real stuff. And I was like, no, it, it, ain't, it ain't really worth it, dog. But you yeah, gotta think, though, man. It, bro. He been he been with old girl for four years, so apparently, you know, he love her. You I'm sure. I mean? I'm sure. They I'm been sure. In, they been in love. They broke up for four months, and and this and I don't know. I, I mean, I guess if they broke up. I guess let's say when you break up, motherfucker usually cut you off cold turkey that first initial month. I guess I don't mm -hmm. I don't been dropped a lot. <laughs> so that that first month, I'm usually cut off when they're done. But you know, I work my way back in there. You know, about month two, month three, I work my way back in there, get me a little pizza and nine in. Mm -hmm. So apparently, he worked his way back in, and got him a little piece. But somebody else been getting a piece. Yeah, no, hey, they been question. getting a piece. Big. They they been getting a chunk. Hey, yeah. Hey, <laughs> listen to this. The piece. Listen to this though. Four months, right? They was broke up, right? Right, right, yeah. right, right. Okay, you don't know who the daddy is. That means a couple of days after you did something, she was already doing something. It wasn't, it wasn't like I, I waited a month and then I talked to somebody else. It was like, it's if it's a possibility that it might be yours or somebody else's, it had to be the same day, same week, something. What's the reason they broke up? Ah, oh, that's another good question too. You know, they might have broke up because uh, he called her with another dude. Or well, she it did. Her. Hold on. With hey, the dude who got the baby. Hey, my spidey sister says it was her fault if she trying to get back with him. Because yeah. usually, if you're the one that messed up, you're the one trying to do the get back. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Like, like hey, like I said, I'd have been dumped a few times myself. I know how that works. I know how that works, <laughs> man. Right. Yeah, man. So. I don't know, man. I, I just say, man, just save face. I know you love her. We done all been there, dog. Time heal all wounds. Not all of us. <laughs> hey, you done been there, dog. Because mm -hmm. you done got dumped. Hey, you done got dumped for me, so you know. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> hey, what a, what a, Chad, what are your head dumped? <laughs> nah, <laughs> hey, that's all the joke. Hey, that's a joke. Before we get started, that's a joke. I'm joking. I'm joking. That was a long, 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 long time ago. No, 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 my friend. No, 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 my friend. No, no, no. No, no. I would never do that to my boy Chance. That's my brother. That's my brother. So, man, what advice, man? The dude, man, does she belong to the street, man? That's it, bro. Tell him to keep it moving. But I, we say that. But we we say that with just that little piece of information. They might have had a good relationship. They were together for years. I mean, I don't know. I, I, I'm gonna say it like this: to each his own. I don't. I don't. I don't. I wouldn't be mad if he went back because obviously they got a, a, a history together. But what if he go back and the kid ain't here? No, that's. I was going. You didn't let me finish. Mm -hmm. I was going to say it's only upon the child being his. Cause see, here go here go the thing now, bro. Because. Obviously, still she in the early stages of the pregnancy. She she got to be 
let's just say she won a two months, something like that. Right. So right. She go, if he go back, he gonna be with her through the whole pregnancy. You know what I'm saying? They're attached to that child. They're gonna be attached. They're gonna be loving each other. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure everything gonna be hunky dory. It's gonna be all well and good. You know what I'm saying? Do you know what I'm saying? Do might come out and baby, baby come out looking like something else. You know what I'm saying? That's what I said. The brother brother might look. The dude writing the letter might look like Jerron, and the baby come out looking like Chance. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) You know. And that baby got lucky. (laughs) <laughs> that baby but what I'm lying. saying is though you know he expecting a, a yellow baby to come out you know a dark baby you know it could be I mean a lot of different things man like I that, said that like baby said. come out it ain't his I, that's why I said it, it's gotta be provided that the child is his they might be able to work through it it's gonna be hard to work through that child not being yours no. and you know and like you know said. somebody else been digging in them cookies Chuck the deuces you can't they be yours. You can't work through the that, weekend. You, you can't you can't work through that, man. Because you got to look at this. It's a difference. You if can't you come work in through as it. a stepdaddy if you come in as a stepdaddy later. You know what I'm saying? If you come in and the kid already born, and you know what I'm saying, and you, you meet the girl, you start dating, you come in as a stepdaddy. That's different. You know what I'm saying? That's cool. Shout out to all the stepdaddies out there. But you for her to be with that lady as she carried a baby for nine months and find out it ain't yours? Come on. Yeah, that's tough. Come on. That's tough. You know, it take That's tough, man. Man, hit the road, Jack. And, and here go the thing. You got a better chance of hitting the road and be like, holla at me when the baby born. And then let's say the baby born and it is yours. You got a better chance of, of, of working your way back into the um, into the situation and saying, "Okay, I want to be a father. I want to be a, a family." You right. got a better chance of pulling that off. Right. Yeah, you got to protect right. yourself, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah man. I, but even if he had to ask that, he's obviously thought about going back. Yeah. But if, if he wasn't thinking about going back, it wouldn't be no need for the letter. But he did. So he did for four years. But that's what I'm saying. Obviously, he sees something that he thinks is salvageable. You may not. You may have a different standard. Chance standard may be different. Anti mine. But obviously, it's something this young lady has done to him, or they have some kind of connection. She might. It might be that walk walk three thousand. And hey, and hey, and we and they'll do we, that again, man. She put hey, that like, like I had a break. Break. Don't ever do that again. Hey, hey, I'm. A, I tried to ignore that time when I was talking. <laughs> but it, 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 could, it could be a couple of things. We all know guys that have stayed for for that Guap Guap three thousand. She got there in Niagara Falls. She might have been paying for everything, and bro might might be like, "Hey, I can't make it without her. My funds ain't stretching as far <laughs> as it was." With old girl, we never know. Uh, you never know, dog. You never know. So. It's something that's uh, that's keeping them around or uh, thinking the, about going back. So I don't know, man. You gotta you gotta reassess your situation and make a personal decision, my brother. What's best for you? Well, well, here it is, brother. If you you know when you uh, listen to this podcast, man, like we, uh, <laughs> Brian says, you gotta do what's best for you. Me and Tom on the hit the road, Jack. What you say, Chad? Yeah, so you can't you can't fool with that, man. It's, it's, you ain't never gonna trust them your whole life. You want to live like that? No, you don't. Hey, I'm telling. He you. might that living might be better than the way he's living at now. Cause the way bro sound, bro is financially scrapped right now. He needs that woman back. <laughs> <laughs> you know uh, what I, mean, I wonder? I wonder if that's he what got it's all any, about. To you. If he got any cut up during the breakup, he said one time. No, that's it, bitch. From any other chick. Yeah. Oh, I thought he said one time afterwards. Well, yeah, no, yeah, that with her. I'm talking about with, with a random. Yeah, yeah, random. Did he get did he get to show his royal Oh my bad. I, I thought he said he got one time after, but she 
She did too, but he didn't. But she ain't no little better. I guess the, the letter he was, was talking saying, about with her, with her, with the with the actual girl he just broke up with, ain't he? Yeah, we and he said uh, we, okay. only, we only had sex once since the breakup. Okay, I got you. I got you. You gotta pay attention, chance. Yeah, I was gone. <laughs> you, know Chan, you know Chan's ADHD. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> wow, man. Wow. Well, check this out, man. We're getting close to that time, man. We're getting close to the time. About to end this thing, man. Chance, you got any parting shots? You got any parting shots? Before we get out of uh, here. Yeah, just uh, you know, like I always say, love one another. Hey. We boys, we're going to have to get up and have this uh, Rip 28 reunion real soon and throw us out about five, six episodes real quick. You know, go to the club, some, be live, do all that good stuff. We, we out there. We we finna expand our horizons. Live from the strip club. <laughs> <laughs> hey, where they selling chicken wings and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> You can get, hey, you can get chicken wings and kitty milk all at the same time. All at the same time. <laughs> Beasy, you got any part in shots, Beasy? Man, all I'm going to say is, man, it's becoming summertime or springtime into summer. All you big women, all you big women, make sure you wash them every crook and every crevice before you come out there with these sundresses on because we are not going for it this year. We are not going for it. <laughs> And one last thing, slot it is embassy, not embassy. Or whatever you said, uh, it's embassy, <laughs> the Russian embassy. I just want to tell you that because I'm the educator's educator. I'm the educator's educator. And I wouldn't feel right letting you go out around other people saying it like that. It's the embassy. But I love y'all, big women. I don't mind y'all, big women. I like y'all sundresses. Y'all fill them up, but make sure y'all wash it in every cooking premise that you got. Before you put these sundresses on, <laughs> Todd, Todd, you got anything to say, Todd? Hey, man, how you follow that? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> hey, it was good being back on here, man, with you guys, man. You know, had some good topics. You know, Brittany need to go ahead and leave the stuff in the room, get on out of there. And hey, if we're going to support women's basketball, man, go support them. Peace Thank out. You. All right, man. Another great episode of the Rip 28 podcast, man. This is a podcast where a few friends get together and we talk about a few things. Now, some of those things you might like, some of those things you might not like, but we keep on talking about them on the Rip 28 podcast. Check this out, man. I want to let everybody know. Everybody needs to know. Cologne is not a substitute for deodorant. Cologne is not a substitute for deodorant. We're hollering. See you next week on the Rip 28 podcast. Well, I had to learn that the hard way. Hey, man, I think in middle school, we all had to learn that in middle school. <laughs> I, got, I got a seventh grader, man. I already know. Yes, sir. <laughs>